Drake's Jr. Just a couple notes. Drake's win moves the Bulldogs into tomorrow's 12:05 quarterfinal game against top seeded Creighton. Drake is now 15 and 16 on the year, and DU advances to the quarterfinals for the second year in a row. Drake is 58 and 80 all time against Bradley, 17 and 33 in MVC tourney play, 5 and 5 versus Bradley in the tournament, and 2 and 1 versus BU this season. Coach Mark Phelps is now 77 85 in his fifth year at Drake, 3 and 4 in the MVC tourney, and 2 and 1 against BU in the tourney. Congratulations to Drake as we move into the first session this evening. Our protocol, as most of you are well aware of, we will open with a statement from Coach Phelps about the victory and then take questions for Coach, uh, followed by questions with the student athletes. As you all well know, please raise your hand. Our folks with the microphones will find you and then identify yourself and your affiliation and proceed with your direct question. Coach, opening statement. Well, really proud of our uh, players for uh, hanging tough. Um, we knew we'd have to deal with some adversity throughout the game. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think Bradley cut the lead uh, to three in the second half. I, I could be mistaken. I know it was at least five. I thought it was at three at one time. Uh, but we had contributions from all nine men. We played uh, nine guys, double-digit minutes. Um, we felt like um, throughout the year we had a team that had some depth, and it was really nice to see that uh, in action tonight. Um, when uh, you have guys like Seth Van Dees and Ben Simons and Jordan Clark, uh, Richard Carter, you know, not reach double figures, and you bring guys off the bench, um, like Joey and like Gary Ricks and, and like Jeremy Jeffries. Uh, I just thought it was a total team effort. We needed it all, um, certainly. I thought we played well in the offensive end. A key to this game for us, for our basketball team, is to limit turnovers, and we were successful doing that, and I think that's in large part why we were able to get the win. With that being stated, we'll open the questions for the student athletes, Joey King and Gary Hicks Jr. Folks, questions, please raise your hand in the back. On the right. Hi, Joey. Scott Reister with KCCI in Des Moines. Did you guys just have a sense that the ball was seemed to be going into the hoop tonight? It seemed like you guys were making a lot of shots. Well, uh, over the last few weeks, we've uh, put a lot of work um, into our game, and we're playing with a lot of confidence right now. Uh, we've won four out of five. So, uh, I mean, after a hiccup with Southern Illinois, we just really wanted to get back on the right track and uh, play well. In the middle, in the front, please. Hey, Gary, uh, they recruited you as a three-point shooter. I know you had a lot of struggles earlier in the year. I guess what was going for you today? What, what allowed you to come out here and shoot so well? Um, just my coaches, uh, my teammates. Every time, every time I step on the court, they told me to shoot the ball. So uh, I just let it go today, and it dropped. I got confidence. So I let more go. So it was just confidence in my teammates and coaches building confidence in me. For the benefit of our folks taking notes, that was Gary Ricks, Jr., Folks, if you have a question, get your hands up early so we can get you spotted and we keep things moving along. Questions? Again, in the back, on the right. It's for uh, Joey and Gary. Uh, how do you feel like you guys are setting up to play the rest of this tournament? I know it's a quick turnaround. Uh, do you still feel fresh after something like that? Joey, why don't you take that one first, please? Well, uh, it was a very physical game. Uh, but we have a great staff that'll uh, get us healthy and prepared to play tomorrow. Uh, I think there's no question that we'll come out tomorrow with a lot of competitive fire and just be ready to go. I don't think there's too much to worry about for us. And Gary, your thoughts? Yeah, uh, following with Joey. So I think uh, when your backs are against the wall, kind of fatigue goes out the window. So I feel like tomorrow we, sh we should be good. I mean, it might be a little slow at first, but uh, once we get our legs going, we should be fine. And we're really excited to play Creighton. Uh, we split with them earlier in the year, so we feel we feel confident that we have a good chance. So, down here on the right front row, Joey, can you describe the play with Pickett on the technical foul? What exactly happened from your standpoint? Uh, I, he, Seth got fouled. Uh, I jumped up for the rebound, and there was just a little shove. Nothing, nothing. Uh, to, there was nothing really to talk about. I mean, it was just a little bit of a shove got looked at and there's a technical. Another question in the back on the right, please. 
Joey, first time here for the tournament. Can you describe the atmosphere and the environment and also how good it feels to come out on top? Uh, it felt really good. Uh, they, it's been, it's been, a, been a great experience so far. I uh, love the atmosphere, playing in a big arena. It's uh, definitely it's something new, but uh, definitely a great experience, and um, I'm looking forward to tomorrow and all the games here uh, going forward. Other questions for the student athletes? In the front here and the middle, on the right. Uh, Joey, you missed your first two three-pointers and started taking the ball inside. I guess just talk about the adjustment you made and what you got going in there. Um, I, I'm, I'm always confident shooting the ball. Uh, missed a couple, wanted to really uh, get into a rhythm. So I just wanted to take the ball inside. My teammates did a great job finding me and uh, I was able to have some success down in the post. Anyone else for the student athletes? Not gentlemen, you may retire to your locker room and prepare for tomorrow. Congratulations. Follow up questions for Coach Phelps, please. Put your hands up in the back again on the right. Hi, Coach. Do you feel like this was one of your better shooting nights? And are you, I guess, pleased or have you been seeing this a lot lately? Yeah, again, you know, we felt like the strength of our team would be um, depth, and it, it really showed itself um, um, clearly tonight where we had guys making contributions um, from every position, guys coming off the bench, knocking down shots. Uh, you know, again, if you would have told me that uh, Jordan Clark would have gone for four and Ben nine and Seth for six, and we would have scored 81 points in a win tonight, um, I, I would have asked you how. Um, so, uh, you know, it, it was contagious. And th the guys are excited to be here. Um, they feel good about the way they're playing. And um, I, I do think we're playing our best basketball right at the right time. So um, everyone that goes in the game has, uh, uh, has the confidence of their teammates and the coaching staff. And, and uh, it, it, it's fun. It was fun tonight. Other questions, again, in the middle, on the right. Uh, Mark, same question I asked Gary. Obviously, he had some struggles really in the air from three, but what, what did you see tonight out of him? That I mean, he obviously, some perseverance there to come out and really have a big game at just the right moment. When, when you're a good shooter and you're not making shots, you're still a good shooter. You need to continue to hear that you're a good shooter, believe that you're a good shooter, and act like a good shooter. And all year long, he's acted like he's a good shooter. And they haven't always fallen, but he's a, he's a great shooter. And it's just, you know, it, they fell tonight. Um, everyone has confidence in him. No one is telling Gary to lay off a three. If you're open, smoke it. And that's, you know, that's what he did tonight. I mean, the ones that he missed looked really good. So, um, yeah, he's, he's a good shooter. He just hasn't made shots, and he, ma he made them at the right time tonight. On the right, third row. Mark, Mark, talk about the challenge of playing Creighton, especially on uh, the short turnaround. Well, they're, they're a terrific team. They're an NCAA tournament team. Um, you know, they, they, uh, they've got a great player. Uh, they're, they're the total package. Um, no one would uh, pick Creighton in a game if, if, uh, if you asked them across the country in any league. Uh, yeah, the turnaround's uh, short. I thought we got our feet wet tonight. I'm looking at the minutes. You know, some of our guys did not have to play heavy minutes. We, we had double-digit minutes through nine guys. Jordan played 18. Um, we'll be ready to go tomorrow, and I think we got our feet wet. And uh, um, guys have confidence. Certainly uh, the last time we played Creighton, we played a very good game at home, and we were able to get the win. So um, – It'll be a challenge whether we had a little rest or a lot of rest. They're, they're a terrific team, and we're going to have to be very good. On the right front row. Mark, could you describe Bradley's comeback in the second half and how you were able – you seemed like you were able to, to hit a big shot whenever you needed, whenever they got close. Can you kind of describe that? How uh, that in both games against Bradley and then again tonight, um, if we took care of the ball, we felt like we were going to get a decent shot. Um, and I think that was the key tonight with, with single-digit turnovers. That was the key. Um, I thought we had good ball movement, and 
we took care of the ball. So, yeah, guys stepped up and made shots when they needed to. One that, that um, crystallized in my mind is Joey's uh, shot there in the, on the left baseline, a two-pointer. Again, I, I, I felt like we were down or we were up three, and then that put us back up five. But guys just stepped up and made shots. We took care of the ball. Again, that was the key for us. That's the key for this basketball team, and hopefully we can continue to do that moving forward. Again in the back on the right. Mark, a lot of times with the winner of this game going against the number one seed the next day, you'll see that team uh, that wins tonight jump out to an early lead. They've already had their feet wet, already comfortable in St. Louis. Is there anything that you look at with the minutes, how you're going to prepare for tomorrow, hoping that you get out to that lead and how you sustain it? Well, that's exactly what happened last year. We, we actually had a pretty decent lead uh, on Creighton in our second round game in the quarterfinal game after winning uh, on Thursday night. And uh, the, the difference is we, we have a few more bodies this year. Last year we played basically six guys. Um, we can play nine, um, and, and Corey Babineau is the 10th guy that's available as well. So uh, hopefully we can sustain effort and intensity and urgency throughout 40 minutes. Um, you know, what's important is that we get great rest and great hydration tonight uh, heading into tomorrow's game. Another question in the middle on the right. Mark, you just alluded to it, but to only turn over eight times against this team, how did you guys accomplish that? We've been really focusing on it, Mark. It, it's been a, a, a heavy emphasis for us. We've been working on it in every way imaginable, from film to drill work to putting them through very difficult situations in, uh, in practice to handle pressure, um, you know, trying to put them in more difficult situations in practice versus traps than you see in a game. Just it's been a, it's been a continual assault on taking care of the basketball, uh, being more sure, being stronger with the ball. And, you know, it, and it's – you know, nothing's ever a, a straight climb. You know, we've had some dips, um, but I, I think we're just we're more um, we're more aware and we're more focused on taking care of the basketball. We're working on it. Questions? Any other questions? Last call for Coach Phelps. Coach, congratulations. Thank you much. Thank you. See you tomorrow.